Since man first started farming, agriculture has used the Earth's resources to provide mankind with a food source. And more recently, our world has turned to agriculture to provide mankind with energy sources, with a focus on renewable and biofuels. In this report, the Monitor's Ryan Nockhan takes us to South Georgia, where one man is harvesting a new energy crop from the sun. Growing up as a pecan grower in Arlington, Georgia, Trey Pippen never imagined being able to harvest a new crop so quickly. You see, it takes pecan trees usually three years to have just a light crop and 10 years to reach full production. But the farm he's built now can produce as soon as it's constructed and is in max production 365 days a year. And that's where it shows what it's currently producing. However, when Pippen first heard of harvesting the sun's rays for energy, he wasn't sold right away. Before I got started, I didn't think it was something practical to do. It cost too much money and it's just, you know, it, it wouldn't pay for itself. When energy prices seemed to keep going up, Pippin decided to look into the technology he once deemed impossible to use on his farm. What this engineering degree recipient from the University of Georgia found were tax incentives and the Rural Energy for America grant from the USDA that provides farmers with an effective way to install solar farms. The more we looked into it, the more viable it seemed and it could actually pay for itself in a few years. Now this small pecan grower in South Georgia owns a 200 kilowatt solar farm, the largest private commercial solar farm in the state. Normally this time of year it's averaging somewhere around 900, 950 kilowatt hours in a day. When the Pippins finally got the grants to go ahead with the construction of the solar farm, they wanted to go with a solar manufacturer based out of Georgia. So they went with Ceneva that originated at Georgia Tech. And now 836 panels you see here today can power 40 homes. Basically you have a bunch of charged electrons that are moving on these panels. Solar panels create electricity by absorbing photons from the sun. These photons release electrons that create the electricity by circulating through the panels. That charge is gone and collected in the back of these with these boxes here and wiring that feed into this combiner box. So from here, the combiner box goes into, it's fed over here to an inverter, where this inverter is where they take the DC charge and turn it to an AC charge. And then from that point, it's fed to Georgia Power electric meters over there. So Georgia Power meters it at that point, then it's fed to their transformers and it's put back onto the Georgia Power grid. Georgia Power then pays Pippin for the energy he produces minus the energy he uses on his farm. It replaces 150% of all our power we use on this farm. As you might imagine, the farm has stirred up quite an interest in the small town of Arlington. So much so that United States Representative Sanford Bishop recently visited the farm. Trey Pippen has, has utilized his engineering background uh, and is looking at the wave of the future uh, so that he can uh, help us in southwest Georgia be innovative in agriculture uh, as far as our energy needs are concerned. And even though it only takes up one acre of his pecan orchard, Pippin views harvesting solar energy as a form of agriculture. My argument is, you know, every single year we put up a lot of upfront costs for our crop and we don't know exactly what we're going to get paid for it, you know, or how much, much of a crop we're going to get. So with this, you know, we put a system up and we have an extremely good idea how much we're going to produce. And I have a contract, you know, for multiple years of what I'm going to get paid. So. I'd consider it a form of farming because of the economics of it, how you have to go about it. Pippin says the solar farm gives him a feeling of accomplishment, and he plans to build more in the future. We can't rely on fossil fuels forever, and just the, the amount, just our farming operation consumes electricity and, and diesel and other fossil fuels that, you know, it makes me feel good knowing at least we're doing something that's renewable that'll be here, you know, 100 years from now, we still have sun power producing energy. Energy that will hopefully supply agriculture with a bright future. For the Georgia Farm Monitor, I'm Ryan Nockhan.